So you're still pulling forward, you want to yeah. stay back. That's better. So all the time you've got to have him, his mental energy coming to you, not you dragging towards him. Yeah. It takes time to get used to it, you know? Yeah. But really think about that space and think about your breathing in between you and him. Just as you're, that, yeah, I can see that change in you. Yeah. yeah. So there's a sense, not only of a smile in the back of the neck, but a smile inside the mouth. Inside the back, that's it, that's it. Inside the back of the mouth. That's it, that's it. And then see if you can start to feel, not just his movement, but can you sense his breathing? Just give yourself some time to see if you can tell of his, what he's doing in terms of his breathing. Is he holding it? And if he is, you've got to calm yours even more. He's breathing shallower, I think, yeah. because he's a bit... Yeah. So, you want to calm that down by calming your own down. And that means thinking very clearly that your back widens as you breathe. You don't do it deliberately, but you just say, OK, my back opens out to let the breath in and it floods down my legs. That's better. That's better. There you are. Now you're in the saddle more, for a start. Can you tell? Yes. And he's starting to look more chilled. Actually, his, his ears are listening to you, looking around, and his, his whole line is starting to change a little bit now. That's nice. How does that feel? Feel different? Yeah, much better. Keep that going, because your breathing tends to rise up in your chest, like everybody's does. Yeah. And the more it rises up in the chest, the more you lose contact with him and his breathing. So it's the lowest part of the back, widening, opening out, breathing, and the jaw. If you, if you fix your jaw... Which I'm inclined to do. Well, we all do that. <laughs> You'll lock the lot. Now that you've got your breathing working better, lower in your own body, you can free your upper arms a little more. And that's a question, because you've got your back working well, you can really trust your shoulder girdle to sit on your rib cage. You don't have to hold it up. And if you trust your shoulder girdle, then you can release the arms and let the shoulders move with him. Let him, in a sense, his movement dictate what goes on in your shoulders. In a way, you control him from your back. That space behind you, that's it. Breathe under your armpits as well as in your back. Lovely sense of space under your armpits. It's addressing issues that I've known I've had. Mm. I've just never known how to address. You know, people say, sit up. They say, sit down. They say, sit on your seat bones. They say, you know, don't rock, don't drive, don't... But they don't mm. tell you how to do mm. that. I know, that's the problems I had. Yeah. And this has really started to address those by addressing self-carriage in me, I've realised. Mm.